Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to review for you the photo books and swatch kit by Whitewall. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video and give me a thumbs up if you like this one. I also have a Patreon page now if you want to show your support for this channel. So as I said in my previous videos, we are seeing more and more inkjet photo books on the photo book market. And what is inkjet? Well, it's something similar to the printer that you've got at home, but it's a much bigger one and it has a much finer print head and it's capable of creating very high quality, high definition prints in photo books superior to the standard Indigo printers. So Whitewall is one of those companies that uses and takes advantage of this printer and for a long time I wanted to see these photo books and you guys have been asking me about them as well, my opinion and how it compares to other similar photo books on the market. So today I've got my photo book and I also have a swatch kit because I do love swatch kits and their swatch kit is really cool. It has all the materials and thicknesses and it has a really cool booklet in it as well. And I want to show you all the materials offered by Whitewall. The company to my knowledge is a German company, but they have several websites around the world, mostly in Europe, but in the US. UK and Australia as well and what you need to know about the company is that their primary focus is not on photo books but wall art, all kinds of high quality gallery style prints. They won several awards for their uh, large format prints so do check out that section of the website as well but of course in this video I'm going to talk about the photo books which is a smaller section on their website. What I noticed is that the photo books section doesn't come up on every single website. So for example, it doesn't come up on the US website, but if I go to the UK and German website, the menu tab comes up for photo books. And when I go to the delivery shipping options for the photo books in the UK, it only allows me to set the UK as a destination country, whereas for the wall art, you can send it to any country around the world. So make sure to go to the website and it's going to redirect you to the one which is um, current in your country or region and see if the photo book option comes up on that website. I just wanted to put this out there because you might not see what I'm talking about when you go onto their website. One other thing I noticed on the German website is that they have something called an Echte Book, which I think is a real photo book. So it's a silver halide photo book, a lay flat book, but it's not available on the UK website. So I'm not going to talk about that in this video and I can't show it to you either. So let me show you how the book came. This was the box. So a very standard kind of Amazon style book box. And the book was in a little sleeve and when I take it out it has a very nice white wall transparent sleeve as well on the front so you can obviously take that off. It's not really a dust jacket, it's just something to protect the cover of your book. Now that's the book I ordered for myself and that's a linen printed linen cover, something very interesting that I'm going to talk about a little bit later and it's again photos from Italy. So just a quick peek into it. Of course, I'm going to go through in detail of everything inside this book. And I also ordered their amazing little swatch kit. And I just want to show you what's inside the swatch kit before I go into my close up shot. So you can get this for £10, I think. And when you open it, there is a little booklet on the top, which I really, really like. It has basically all the information about the books that you need to know. So starting from the covers, the cover materials, cover options, all the available sizes, the paper options, the difference between inkjet printing and standard printing, the different ways of creating a book online and PDF and so on. And then inside the box, you have the swatches. So you've got the four paper types. You have the leather covers. You have the linen cover color selection. You have the soft covers. You have the end papers. 
and they also included cover samples which is different to the cover materials because these are actually mounted on the hard back so you see how thick the cover actually is when it's on the book and I think that's again a very nice thing to see because you know what to expect how thick it's going to be and how heavy duty so that's in the swatch kit I'm going to show the materials in a close-up shot when I get to that section in the book now I'm going to go and talk about sizes cover binding papers print quality and the editor so let's start with the sizes the softcover books come in three sizes and all the other books, so hardcover, linen, leather, they come in six different sizes. The three sizes for the softcover books are 20 by 20 centimeters square, A4 portrait and A5 landscape, so the smaller sizes. And the other books come in six sizes, A5 landscape, 20 by 20 centimeters square, A4 portrait, A4 landscape, 30 by 30 centimeters square, and A3 landscape. Most of the sizes follow the international paper sizes like A5, A4, A3. I think it's a good selection. You've got small, medium, and very large, and you also have landscape, square, and portrait, so they pretty much cover it all. The one I have here is a 20 by 20 centimeters small square, and that's the size compared to my hand, so it's still quite a nice size for a, a smaller pocket photo book or a smaller coffee table book. Let's move on to the covers. As mentioned earlier in the intro, the books are broken down into categories based on the available cover types. So let's start with the first one from the swatch kit with the soft cover books. So as you can see, we've got two options here, one very glossy soft cover and a soft touch matte soft cover. This one is very, very smooth to the touch. And as you can see, there's no glare at all. And this one is very shiny. You can also see the difference between the blacks on the glossy, the black is going to be darker and deeper. The thickness is decent. It's the usual soft cover thickness that you get. It's not a hard cover, but it's definitely much thicker than the inner pages. The second cover type you can choose is the hard cover, which again comes in two finishes, glossy and soft touch matte. So just like the soft cover, but this one is hard back. So it's going to be laminated onto a strong uh, cardstock. Uh, what you need to know about these and the soft covers is that you can personalize them front, back and spine. You can have anything you want on it and uh, you can have photos, text and you can also put your titles onto the spine. The next one on the list is the leather cover, which looks like that. It's a very nicely densely textured and again it's hard back so it's going to be a hard cover book but obviously with a leather finish and these are the available colors you've got four choices you've got the brown you've got uh, a dark brown you've got dark blue and you also have black so these are the options for the leather cover what you need to know about this is that they are synthetic so they are very good for vegans and also you can't have any text or picture on these so it's just a leather cover on the front and on the spine as well there's no personalization for any of these uh, leather covers the last cover option is the linen cover option which is your traditional library style binding it looks like this so a nicely textured linen and again it's hard back and that's the front now again with this one we've got four different shades we've got gray we've got cream navy and black now once again with these linen covers the plain ones you can't put any hot stamping or foil stamping on them but they have something really amazing that i haven't seen with any other photo book company which is a printed linen cover so the printed linen cover looks like that the sample so basically it's the same linen material but you can print on it and that's the one I chose for my book. So it's it's so interesting, it is a linen cover and the picture is printed on so you can personalize it just like printed hardcover book, the front, the spine and the back as well but instead of being printed on paper it's going to be printed on linen and the quality of the print is really good, it's very sharp and you can see 
there is a spine text as well on it. So this is probably my favorite as it's the most interesting, but the hardcovers look very nice too. I think they cover most of the basic and mid-market um, cover options. What they don't have is the most expensive ones like crystal, wood, metallic covers. And also when you think about the linen and the leather covers, they come in slightly less shades and variations than some of the other competitors. Let's move on to the binding. All of the books are perfect bound, which is per binding in short. And that means that basically the book is printed as single sheets, double-sided on each side. And these sheets are glued together at the spine. So the book doesn't stay fully flat, as you can see. You have to hold it with your hand and that's the only uh, binding option they have at the moment. Now, when you open the book, you have this very nicely textured uh, fly leaf or end paper as they call it. I'm not sure if you can see the texture and you can choose the color of this end sheet, two colors, black and white. The other thing you won't see on these books is any branding. You don't see the logo or any barcode anywhere. So it's perfect for resellers or if you don't like branding on your book. So it's not something that you have to pay for. It just comes with all books. So let's have a look at the book inside. So the book starts on the right hand side after the fly leaf. And this is how it pages. So you can create double page spreads. You can get your photos to go across two pages, but it's not going to be uninterrupted and it's not going to look like a lay flat book. Now, what I noticed with this binding is that some of the pages like this one opens almost completely flat, as you can see, but other pages like this one doesn't open so much. So you kind of have to force it. But then as soon as you start doing that, you'll start seeing a little break there. Another thing I noticed about the binding, and I'm being very picky here, I know it's not a lay flat book and I'm not expecting a continuous flow of images. But if you look at this photo in the middle, this is where the two pages meet. And normally you would have, when the two pages meet, you would see the full image. However, his face here is completely missing. So there's like a centimeter from the two sides of the image missing. So the way it was printed is a little bit strange because the photos don't match up where they should match up. And you can see this with the buildings as well. Like for example, here, you can see that that side of the dome is missing. This is very common with perfect bound books. It's just a nature of the style of binding. But since this book opens almost completely flat on some pages, it's quite noticeable. And especially if there is a face there in the middle, then that person's face could be missing. So my suggestion to get around this is to not place any portraits in the middle between the two pages if you want to avoid missing eyes or missing noses and things like that. This is how the binding looks from the top. So it's a very nice spine and that's the bottom. The books need to have a minimum of 24 pages and they can go up to 252 pages. So quite a long page count, but that's, you know, expected with perfect bound books. Let's move on to the paper types. So here is the swatch kit with the papers. They've got four different paper types to choose from. You've got the standard silk mat, which has a subtle sheen as you can see, but it has a very smooth surface. It's a decent thickness. It's slightly thicker than the average perfect brown paper, 170 GSM grams per square meter. The second one is the premium silk mat. This is the one I chose for the book. So this one is very similar in finish to the standard silk. I would say it's slightly less um, shiny, but it's much thicker. It's 250 GSM, so it's, it's a lot stronger. It's going to make your book thicker and heavier. The third one and my favorite from the swatch kit is the premium with glossy finish. Again, it's 250 GSM, but this one has a lot more gloss as you can see. And it also has a kind of lustrous slash metallic texture, which really makes the colors pop. So this one is probably the one that I would choose for my future books. Uh, it's again, a very strong thick paper and it's uh, glossy and has the best dynamic range. 
The last one is a more interesting style. It's the premium matte uncoated. Again, it's 170 GSM, so slightly thinner, but as you can see, it has no sheen at all and it's uncoated, so it has that kind of artistic look to it. Now, when you put the four papers next to each other, I'm not sure if the camera is going to capture this, but you can see that the blacks are very different on the four papers. So the glossy is definitely the best if you want to get deep blacks and a good dynamic range and the uncoated is kind of gray looking where it should be black. Now let's see this in the books. As I said, I chose the premium matte silk finish for this book and I was actually very happy with the amount of gloss that you can see in the book and the colors look really good on it. It's a brilliant white paper. Let me actually just go through the book page by page. So that's like a landscape. And and there we go. Let's move on to the print quality. Now this is where this uh, photo book company excels and that's why I really wanted to have one of these books because they claim to use high definition inkjet printers. When I look at the colors, I'm extremely happy with them. They are very accurate, very natural skin tones and in the buildings as well, it's almost exactly what I see on my screen and that's very rare with photo books. So again, a, a very natural skin tone here as well well-balanced colors, very good dynamic range. In the booklet, in the swatch kit, they also show you the difference between traditional indigo printers and the high definition inkjet print. That's kind of the difference that the dots are much bigger in the indigo print and it's much more refined in the inkjet print and also it, it has a much better color range as well. They also provide ICC profile. So if you are a pro and you want to make sure that you don't get any surprises when you have your photos printed, you can download them from their website and proof your photos before printing. Now let's talk a little bit about the editor. The editor is, um, well, you've got two ways to edit the book. You can either use the online editor on the website or you can use Adobe InDesign, upload your photo book as a PDF and have it printed. So it doesn't tie you to their own software. You can use anything you want as long as you can provide them with a PDF. The editor online is quite basic and it resembles more of a pro look. So the ZNO um, editor is similar to it. It looks nothing like the mixed book editor, if that's what you're looking for. They have lots of lots of layouts to choose from, but they have very few pre-made themes. The editor can create auto flows, so you can upload all your pictures and it's going to put them into the book automatically or you can do it from scratch. They have a limited selection of stickers and uh, frames that if you want to put them around the photo, but I decided to go with something minimal. Of course, if you are inside the editor, you can change the size of the photo boxes, you can move them around, so you have quite a lot of freedom uh, to mess about if you want to do things from scratch. Let's talk about pricing now a little bit. The full price for a standard square, which is 20 by 20 centimeters hardcover book with 24 pages is around 24 pounds. This one with the upgrade, so the printed linen upgrade and the premium paper inside was 39.95 UK pounds. The book came with UPS, but the swatch kit came with DPD. So I think they use multiple um, logistics companies, whichever is faster or whatever. So I don't know what you're going to get yours with, but it was definitely very, very fast for both of them. And it cost nine pounds for delivery. I think it's very reasonably priced for what you get inside. It's a very high quality print, very nice cover. And uh, let's talk about the last thing, the pros and cons of these books. So what are the pros? The things I loved most about White Wall are the minimalist look, the high quality print inside, and the beautiful linen printed covers. I also love their swatch kit. I know it's not 
the book itself, but it's it's a very good thing when you can't decide between materials to have that because many companies don't offer a swatch kit. I also like the paper choice and my favorite was the glossy paper from the four. Another great thing about the books is that they are not labeled so you don't get any logos on them or barcodes and you don't have to pay for that. A couple of things to watch out for. One was the thing I told you about, the binding that the two pages where they meet is not exactly accurate. So if you put any kind of faces or portraits in the middle of the book, uh, a little bit is going to be missing. I don't know if that was just my book or all of them are the same, but I assume all of them are made the same way. And the second thing was again to do with the binding that some of the pages open quite nicely, almost completely flat, whilst other pages didn't open so fully flat. So again, a bit more consistency inside the book would be nice. And my final moan, if I can say that, is that there is no lay flat option at the moment. A very high quality book with a beautiful cover should really have a lay flat option as well, especially in today's market where most photo book companies are offering lay flat books. I do see that there is a lay flat book on the German website, but it's not available in the UK. So I can only talk about what I see on the website. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. Uh, if you want more help with the choice of your photo books, check out my wizard on the blog, thephotobooker.com. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe for more.